Hey there, Sunbelt fans. I'm Katie Morse, and welcome to the special edition of Sunbelt Conference Weekly. Four teams are going bowling, and we've got everything you need to know right here. Welcome to the 2015 Sunbelt Conference Bowl Preview Show. Arkansas State, the Sunbelt Conference champions, are going bowling right here in the Crescent City. Let's take a look. Arkansas State, the 2015 Sunbelt Conference champions, will face Conference USA's Louisiana Tech in the RNL Carriers New Orleans Bowl on December 19th. Kickoff at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome is set for 8 p.m. and will be aired on ESPN. A-State finished the 2015 regular season with a 9-3 overall record and an unblemished 8-0 Sunbelt Conference record and in the process became the only FBS program in the nation to win four league championships over the last five seasons. A total of 16 Red Wolves made the 2015 all-conference list, with Jamar Clark, Colton Jackson, Javon Rollin jones Rocky Hayes, and J.D. McKissick finding their way onto the first team. Plenty of family-friendly activities will take place in conjunction with the New Orleans Bowl, including a free concert on Friday night in Champion Square. The Red Wolves squad will also be visiting Children's Hospital on Thursday, December 17th. For more information on the RNL Carriers New Orleans Bowl, you can visit the Sunbelt Bowl Central page, astateredwolves.com or neworleansbowl.org. The 2014 Sunbelt champions, the Georgia Southern Eagles, are going to their first ever bowl game at the GoDaddy Bowl. Let's take a look. The Georgia Southern Eagles play Bowling Green of the Mid-American Conference on Wednesday, December 23rd at Ladd Peebles Stadium in Mobile, Alabama. Georgia Southern leads the nation in rushing yards and rushing touchdowns, averaging 355.6 yards per game and 47 rushing touchdowns on the season. Defensively, Georgia Southern places second in the Sunbelt Conference in categories such as total defense, rushing defense, scoring defense, and interceptions. Last year's Sunbelt champions, the Eagles finished the regular season at 8-4, and, and the GoDaddy Bowl will mark the first meeting between Georgia Southern and Bowling Green. This is going to be the first bowl game in the history of this institution, and to be a part of that is a great thing, and it's a great honor for these kids and these seniors and this coaching staff this year getting us there. Twelve Eagles made their way onto the all-conference squad this year. Matt Breida, Antonio Glover, Derek Keaton, and Darian Foreman all represent Georgia Southern on the first team. Many events surround the GoDaddy Bowl, including a players and coaches visit to the USA Children's and Women's Hospital, as well as a parade and pep rally. Kickoff is scheduled for 7 p.m. Central Time on ESPN. For more information, visit the Sunbelt Bowl Central page, gseagles.com or godaddybowl.com. Appalachian State will be making their first NCAA Bowl appearance at the Raycom Media Camellia Bowl. Let's see what's in store for Coach Satterfield's squad. Appalachian State University football has accepted an invitation to participate in the 2015 Raycom Media Camellia Bowl on Saturday, December 19th in Montgomery, Alabama. They will face Ohio from the Mid-American Conference, and kickoff is set for 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time at Montgomery's historic Crampton Bowl. The game will be televised on ESPN. Appalachian State has already matched a Sunbelt Conference single season record with 10 victories and finished in second place in the league standings. The Mountaineers are making their first ever NCAA Bowl appearance in their first season of eligibility after transitioning to FBS. Uh, you know, to be 10 and two in our second year of uh, FBS, really first full-fledged year in the FBS and to be bowl eligible, um, you know, tremendous accomplishment by our guys. I'm uh, really proud of that. App State ranks among the nation's top 20 in 17 different statistical categories and boasts the 2015 Sunbelt Defensive Student Athlete of the Year, Ronald Blair. Joining Blair on the 2015 All-Sunbelt team are 13 other Mountaineers, including Jesse Chapman, John Law, Latrell Gibbs, and Zach Maddox, all making appearances on the Sunbelt first team. The Mountaineers' only losses in 2015 came at the hands of number one Clemson and the Sunbelt champion, Arkansas State. For more information, you can always visit the Bowl Central page or appstatesports.com. After only six years of football, Trent Miles and his Georgia State Panthers are going bowling at the AutoNation Cure Bowl. Let's take a look. Earning a bowl berth in just its sixth year of existence, the Georgia State football team will play in the inaugural Auto Nation Cure Bowl, presented by Florida Hospital on December 19th in Orlando, Florida. GSU will take on Mountain West Conference foe San Jose State, 
in the 7 p.m. kickoff at Orlando Citrus Stadium, and it will be televised on CBS Sports Network. It took a while, but you know, we were very glad that, that it happened. We knew it was going to happen, we just didn't know who it was going to be. So we're very excited to get a chance to represent the Sun Belt versus the Mountain West. The game directly supports the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. In a remarkable turnaround orchestrated by third-year head coach Trent Miles, the Panthers enter bowl season as one of the nation's hottest teams after winning four straight games and five on their last seven. The Panthers earned bowl eligibility with a 34-7 defeat of in-state rival Georgia Southern. Trent Miles was named as the 2015 Coach of the Year, and two of his players also earned postseason titles. Quarterback Nick Arbuckle is the 2015 Student Athlete of the Year, after he led the Panthers with 4,160 yards and 26 touchdowns. Wide receiver Penny Hart is the 2015 Freshman of the Year. He leads the conference in receptions with 71 for a total of 1,095 yards and 8 touchdowns. Ten other Panthers joined the coach and teammates on the postseason awards list, including Robert Davis and Terrace Batiste on the All Sun Belt first team. The week of the Cure Bowl is jam-packed with family-friendly events, including a tailgate and concert with award-winning singer Joe Nichols. For more information on the AutoNation Cure Bowl, take a look at the Sun Belt Bowl Central page or visit curebowl.com. And that'll do it for this year's bowl preview show. For those of you going bowling with your teams, we wish you safe travels and best of luck. For all of us here at the Sunbelt Conference, I'm Katie Morse. Thanks for watching.